Hi, this is Tom with Inovia Consulting. Today I'm here to share with you just a little bit about the Microsoft Dynamics Business Central system. Microsoft has invested tens of millions of dollars over the past years developing and expanding their, their suite of business solutions, including Outlook, Word, Excel, and as you can see right in your system is the Dynamics 365 application. So we have a broad suite of solutions, many of which you probably use today. And if you've outgrown a QuickBooks or a Sage solution or another competitive product, and you're looking for your next solution, we would strongly recommend that the Microsoft Business Solutions Suite offers you a great solution to help you continue to grow your business. So now I'm going to go in and we're going to talk a little bit about the manufacturing functionality. The role center I'm in is for a production planner. Microsoft went out and they surveyed and interviewed actual company employees. They said, just let us watch your work. Tell us what you need in order to be more effective in your job. And they created role centers for various people within an organization. Now we're looking at a production planner's role center. and Right in front of their face, they can see simulated production orders. This is a nice piece of functionality. It allows you to do what-if scenarios when people are trying to ask, as they often do in your business. Hey, I'm working on a big quote. What can we do? When can we deliver this? What if? So our simulated production orders help us with that what if planning. <clears throat> Plan to production orders, I suspect in your manufacturing system you're used to seeing these. But if you don't have a robust manufacturing system, this is just the orders that we're looking to uh, release at some point in the future. Firm plan, we've got them in our horizon. And then released are the things that we're working on right now. Then we start to look at purchase orders and things that we need to pay attention to as a planner to make sure that we have the product we need to produce uh, the material we're trying to produce. As we start to look at our production design, um, Microsoft again has given us a robust series of uh, features that give us bills of material along with uh, very advanced engineering change order management. So if I go into one of my bills of material, I can see that we're tracking version numbers, which version is active. I can have uh, R&D bills of material that don't affect the rest of the system. Uh, and then only once they're certified, are they ready to go? My routings. So as I go in and I take a look at uh, my product design again, I want to look at my routing, so this is how I make the material. So when I look at the process, the bill of material obviously are the components that go into the finished good. But my routings then are how do they move through our shop in the production process. And so I can have work centers, machine centers, we're tracking setup time, run times, move times. Uh, is it a serial or a parallel? Uh, routing, so can things run at the same time or do they need to run sequentially? And then again, version control, so that if we change how we make something, we can always track back uh, when someone has a question as to how did we make it when this product was actually produced. Complete where used functionality, so as we're beginning to make a change to how we might make a particular product, we can, or we're going to switch out a component, uh, we have complete visibility into what other bills of material might be affected uh, when we're considering this change. Capacities, so this is how we determine uh, what we can produce, what the throughput can be, what our efficiencies are, so that I can set up standards within my work centers. And then if I have alternative machines, so we might have a brand new CNC machine on our floor. And if that's our preferred uh, unit, then we'll consider that to be uh, the 100% or our standard, uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me, our standard uh, for production. And then uh, if I have efficiency, sorry, that's the word I was looking for, but I might have alternative or older machines that I could use that, that would maybe they're at 75% efficient. 
And so then that allows us to determine, you know, if it's running through the route that I expected it to run and it's running through the work center I expected it to run through, here's when I should expect it to be done. If it runs through an alternate work center, maybe my preferred work center is backed up, but I want to run it through an alternate machine, how much longer might I expect that to take? And then obviously the backbone for any planner is, a, is the MRP process. So if I open up a planning worksheet, and you'll see that Microsoft's done a great job with our search capability. So I typed in planning work. It thought I was looking for a planning worksheet, but it also brought me to the help files. So it tells me, you know, hey, are you, are you, do you have questions about how to do this? Might you want an app from our app store to help you do a better job? But in this case, I like the MRP worksheet as it sits. I can go in and I can actually calculate my plans. So I'll calculate a regenerative plan and it'll ask me just a few questions. One, and most planners like the parameters they use. And so I have some options here for how I set this up, but I like, you know, the last option, save those for me. Do I wanna just look at material? Do I wanna look at a production schedule? Do I wanna look at both? What's my time horizon? So what window do I want to plan across? And if I'm consuming a forecast, which forecast am I working at? And then in operations where I have uh, multiple planners or multiple purchasers, then I can begin to set filters so that I see only those items uh, that are important to me. So in this case, if I wanted to see uh, an item category <clears throat> where um, I'm just the planner for the food items, then when I bring this up, it knew based on the categories it showed me, and so then I can let this rip. And it's going to go out, look at all our inbound POs, our current inventory position. Uh, it's going to, so this is a good warning here. So it's telling me, hey, I couldn't plan one of the items. What do you want to do about it? And so it brings that up and it shows me that I've got an issue with my shop calendar and I need to go in and correct that so it knows how to plan this item. But once I've taken care of that warning, then I go in and it shows me all of my items. So I can see everything that needs to get made, everything that needs to get bought. If I buy it from someone, it has loaded the default vendor in there so that I can go through now and adjust any quantities that I choose because this is gonna recommend what I should do, but I don't have to necessarily follow that. And for many new users or experienced planners, they really like that flexibility to say, hey, I understand what the system told me, but I know something more than what the system knows, and I'm gonna go ahead and make a different decision. So then I just go through, I carry out the action message and all of my POs and all of my production orders are created for me automatically. So this is a great set of functionality, all built right within the Microsoft Dynamics Business Central system. And you get all of this functionality, including the complete ERP solution for only $100 per user per month. So I hope this has been helpful. If you're interested in more information, please visit our website at www.innovia.com. Contact us via our website. We're happy to talk with you and see how we can help you give you a system that'll help your business continue to grow. Thanks and have a great day.